what is up my lovelies welcome or welcome back to the channel today look who i found on the gallery it's Aww. luna she looks a little different but i forgot i saved her on the gallery and i thought that we could use her today to showcase all of my favorite food mods so i'm thinking maybe somewhere in an alternate dimension or universe luna has zero kids and she is living her life for my OGs, you know who this is. This is the Sim who I started with with my first attempt to the 100 baby challenge. And sadly, she is no more, but that is okay. We can enjoy her today. Oh, and by the way, we're in the original house. Uh, it brings back so many memories, but I want to show you some of my favorite food overhauls and mods. And we're gonna start with the Seriously Sims cooking overhaul mod. Now this mod does exactly what it says. It overhauls all of EA's menus. So we have custom drinks, cooking, baking, custom food, snack, services and settings. We also have craft ingredients. We can order deliveries and we can have and serve meals. So for an example, if I want to grab a snack, I can have a quick meal or drink. And it has EA's food in there, but I believe it also has items that we don't really have access to, like this off-brand soda and this Power Sip Llama Berry. I could be wrong, but I never see an option to buy these in game. Maybe they are in the vending machines. I don't use those as much, but I know Cal has these a lot. So you can do stuff like that. You can also cook and do custom food. So we can do custom drinks, grab alcoholic beverages, custom drinks, or prepare drinks. So let's grab an alcoholic beverage because in this save, Luna is doesn't have any children. And we have a nice selection of beer and different drinks. Let's grab a Corona. And there you have it. She's drinking her Corona right in front of the refrigerator and she got a happy mood lit cold beer from drinking a cold beer what better way to enjoy a day of relaxation than with a refreshing drink there's also another part that you can do this is a little different from the seriously cooking overhaul because i also have insomnia's mods in my game as well so from the refrigerator with the seriously cooking you can order a delivery so pizza groceries you can do zoomers I have Insemnia's mod, so we could do Bojangles, Burger King, Chick-fil-A, Chipotle, Cold Stone, and the list goes on and on, Krispy Kreme, Longhorn. So I have all of these different places where I can order food. Now, I don't know if I have all the food for all of these restaurants. So for an example, let's look at Red Lobster. See, I don't have <laughs> Red Lobster. Another fun thing that you can do with this mod, if we go to custom food, you have these different things you can do. Now, some of these options are from the Oni's food mod, which we will talk about in a moment, but we can do things like buy a food box and grab ice cream. So we can buy these cookies for like Valentine's Day. And this also comes with Ice Mun Mun's food as well. So this pairs well with different mods, but it's basically just an overhaul. So the next favorite food mod of mine is the Granny's Old Cookbook. And you see me use this a lot in my videos. So you can do things like snacks and Granny's recipes where you have appetizers, meals, desserts, breakfast, and barbecue. I don't think we have a grill, so we can do snacks, cold drinks, hot drinks, and snacks. And we have options of grapes, mixed berries, carrots, and hummus. A lot of fun, quick snacks that you can grab for your Sims or your toddlers and things like that. This is very useful for me and the 100 baby because I could just grab garden veggies with platter right out the refrigerator and boom, it's done. We can put it right on the table and the kiddos can grab it. Love that. We also have the option of cold and hot drinks. So we can grab bubble tea or boba tea and you can grab smoothies and coffee. So many different options that you can choose from. And one of my favorites to grab is the caramel iced coffee or the iced caramel coffee. I said that all wrong. She's eating the hummus <laughs> and it comes straight out the refrigerator not the best combo but you get the idea so we have specialty dishes and we have gourmet 
We can do cheese board, mango layer mousse. Because her gourmet skill is at a one, she can only do these three. As their skill goes up, they will be able to do more with that. So that's basically the granny's cookbook. Again, you have all of these different types of food. This is one of my favorite, collard greens and cornbread. And they're very easy, very fast to make. And of course you have the option of single family and a party size. Yes, yeah, so that is Granny's cookbook. My next favorite cooking mod is the Toasty Maker by Little Bo Bub. And this is like an override of the waffle maker from the Home Chef Hustle. And you are just able to make toasties. And I use this a lot in my 100 baby because it's so easy and quick to make. Butter toast, boom, you go. It functions just like the waffle maker. And you let it cook for a few seconds and then it's done. And then you just grab the food. And there it is. We'll put it on the table. So that is the Toasty Maker. Pretty easy and fun to use. Okay, next up is the Cookbook by Somic and Severinka. So I really enjoyed this because there's just more options of custom food. So we haven't really baked anything, so let's do baking. And we have the option to make so many different foods. So for an example, let's bake this apple pie. And here is the apple pie. Look how good it looks. Beautiful, right? So apple pie, fresh and ready. You can also make baby food. You can do drinks, cottage cheese, yogurt, puree, porridge, lunch and dinner if you have any kiddos in your Sims home. So for an example, let's look at lunch and dinner. Panda's made of rice, porridge with rice, soup with rice, like it's just so detailed. So you have so many options. You can also buy bento cakes, fruits and veggies, boxer sweets, or even products. So you can buy baby food as well. Baby tea and infant formula. You can buy so many different things to use with this mod. Also, you have different drinks as well and ingredients. So we can buy frozen dumplings and other ingredients like that and drinks. You can make a bowl of punch, Cranberry punch, strawberry punch. Let's do cherry punch for 120. I'm running out of room. <laughs> and look at that. A nice, beautiful bowl of punch. Grab a drink. Lovely. She also got a mood lift from that. Cool, from the punch. What a refreshing and delicious drink. So many fruits and berries. So yes, that is the Somic and Severin Severinka, there we go, cookbook. I won't go through all of the recipes, but there is a lot. Moving on to Insemnia's food mod. You have to download the register and the grocery list. So for an example, if you want to go grocery shopping, say you want to make a meal, you go here and you have all of the options. You can buy breakfast, condiments, dairy products, pasta, baking, alcohol, frozen breakfast, a lot of different things, salt and savory snacks and produce and meat. So for an example, we can buy meat, we can get ground beef, we can get Angus beef, briskets. So these are the ingredients that you need if you go to the list and you go to my grocery list, you get the list of things you can make. So for an example, breakfast. You want to make oatmeal with strawberries and blueberries. Well, you don't have the ingredients, right? It says we need one cup of Quaker oats, old fashioned. So we need to go to the register and we need to go and buy breakfast. And here we have one can of Quaker oats. We buy it, it immediately goes into our inventory. We click this and we press the open button. Your sim will open. I had her eat a piece of pie, so she's cleaning up. <laughs> Your sim will open, we have 10 servings of that. So now we can go back, go to our grocery list, go to breakfast. And now we can make the oatmeal with strawberries. And because we bought a, a can, we can do a single, a family, or a party size. And the price is reduced. So we'll do a single serving. Just move the punch over here. <laughs> and here is our oats and berries. And as you can see, it looks very good. 
very high quality. Look at the strawberries and the blueberries. Love that. Now you go to the grocery list and you just choose a menu. Maybe you wanna do desserts. It's gonna show you all of the desserts, but you have to buy the ingredients in order to make them. So for an example, strawberry oatmeal bars. We have Quaker oats, but we still need strawberry. We need domino sugar. We need Kerrygold grass butter. And we also need milk to make this. You have pecan cheesecake you can make, Betty Crocker brownies, like cookie brownies, butter brownies, like it's so fun. And there's so many things that you can make. But yes, this is the Insemnia's mod. All right, up next is the Air Fryer by Ice Mun Mun. And it's just as it says, you can air fry certain food. So let's do a single air fry serving. We'll click that and then you have the options to do sweet potato fries, samosa, onion rings, dino nuggets. You also have wings, cauliflower pizza, chicken tenders. Let's do some hot wings. So you just click on the recipe that you want and then it will cook in the air fryer. And you just take it out and you eat it. So that is the air fryer. <laughs> Up next, we have the rice cooker, and this is by Conan Hurry. And here you get to cook rice, food, or kanji. So if you wanna cook food, you just click on it and it gives you different type of chili, franken beans, stew, chowder, gumbo. So you have the option to make those. And of course you have single family or party size. You can cook rice as well. So you have different types of rice, lazy Sims rice treat, that sounds fun and meaty treat, Japanese cat rice, corn meal, poke bowl, Oregon, onigiri, like different types of rice and kanji. It gives you options of different types of porridges. And as you can see, there are a lot of different porridges you can make from this one rice cooker. Okay, next on the list is this crock pot, which I found on Around the Sims 4, and it is functional through Ice Mun Mun. Viable food, object turning, always fresh, and food synthesizer. So those are three turning moths that you need in order for this crock pot to work. And all you do is click on it and you have many choices to choose from. So if we wanna buy a sandwich and burgers, we click and we just choose what we want. So avocado toast, I'll choose one and it's bought and it should be in my inventory right here. So we have avocado toast. So this is a fun way to play around if you wanna do stories or things like that. I use this a little bit too in my 100 baby because it's so easy to just buy food and pop it in the inventory. So that is the crock pot. Or hurry up with this chicken. Next on the list is the Oni's recipe pack. And this is another great way to incorporate more food in your game. So we just go to cook and again, you have different things you can choose from. And you can even do lunch boxes, which I think is really fun. So if you wanna send your kids to school with lunch boxes, you have all of these different choices to choose from. You can even make lunch box with salmon pinwheels. We'll do a single serving. And there it is, a cute little salmon lunch box. We love it. You can send your Sims to school with this, or you can pack one up for your adult Sims and send them to work. Another fun thing about this mod is you can sell to local shops. So with Oni's Food and Little Bo Bub, I can click this and I can fulfill the order, which is very fun to do. If you have custom food and drink interactions in your game, which is an additional mod you need to add in order to use certain foods like Ice Mun Mun's food. If you go to your refrigerator, you click on custom food, more choices, you get to buy a home catering and kitchen business license for a thousand simoleon. So we can do that. And with that license, you will be able to sell more food. So that's really fun. And it gives you more gameplay options. The next food mod that I enjoy is the coffee and drink tray by Severinka and Stomach. So if you just click on it, you can serve drinks. You can do coffee, tea or water, or hot cocoa. And you have different types with marshmallows, 
with marshmallows and cinnamon or just regular cocoa. Coffee you have, different types and different strengths of coffee. So we can do a cafe latte for 76 and you just pay for it and you have your drink which is very cute and you can grab it and you can drink away. This is fun if you have parties and things like that, this will come in handy. Up next is the Functional Blender and Protein Shape Mod by Somic and Severinka. And we can mix different types of proteins in smoothies. So these are protein shakes. So for an example, if we want to do a vanilla shake, As you can see, it's very detailed and it is done and in her inventory and she can just drink it. So it's a great way to quickly feed your Sims. And last but not least, the Home Barista by Little Bo Bub. This is one of my favorite coffee makers and it's just very cute and you just get to make different types of coffee. You see this a lot in my gameplay as well. I think I have it in all of my homes and it's just very cute and you drink coffee. <laughs> that's it so there you have it these are some of my favorite food mods to use in game so shout out to all of the creators because they are very fun and very useful so this is where i'm gonna leave it here today with our luna eating her oats and berries and as i always say thank you so much for watching support and always remember to save your game like comment share and subscribe and come back because you know i love it when you do and until the next one